I saw my life branching out before me like the green fig tree in the story from the tip of every branch like a fat purple fig a wonderful future beckoned and winked one fig was a husband and a happy home and children and another fig was a famous poet and another fig was a brilliant professor and another fig was E.G. the amazing editor and another fig was Europe and Africa and South America and another fig was Constantine and Socrates and Attila and a pack of other lovers with queer names and offbeat professions and another fig was an Olympic lady crew champion and beyond and above these figs were many more figs I couldn't quite make out. I saw myself sitting in the crutch of this fig tree starving to death just because I couldn't make up my mind which of the figs I would choose. I wanted each and every one of them, but choosing one meant losing all the rest, and as I sat there unable to decide, the figs began to wrinkle and go black, and one by one they plopped to the ground at my feet. I saw my life branching out before me like the green fig tree in the story, from the tip of every branch like a fat purple fig, a wonderful future beckoned and winked. One fig was a husband and a happy home and children, and another fig was a famous poet, and another fig was a brilliant professor, and another fig was E.G., the amazing editor, and another fig was Europe and Africa and South America, and another fig was Constantine and Socrates and Attila and a pack of other lovers with queer names and offbeat professions, and another fig was an Olympic lady crew champion. And beyond and above these figs were many more figs I couldn't quite make out. I saw myself sitting in the crutch of this fig tree starving to death just because I couldn't make up my mind which of the figs I would choose. I wanted each and every one of them but choosing one meant losing all the rest and as I sat there unable to decide the figs began to wrinkle and go black and one by one they plopped to the ground at my feet.